Hello everyone. My name is Yang Zhang from MIT IBM Watson AI Lab. In this talk, I'm going to introduce our paper, Decomposing Uncertainty for Large Language Models Through Input Clarification Ensembling, which is in collaboration with MIT and UCSB. Uncertainty quantification refers to the task of measuring the confidence of an AI model's output predictions. For large language models, uncertainty is often associated with the model's output distribution. For example, given an input query, we can measure the LM's output probabilities over a set of candidate answers. If the distribution is concentrated, it indicates that the LM has low uncertainty about the answer. If the distribution is dispersed, it means that the LM has high uncertainty about the answer. A well-calibrated uncertainty measure can greatly improve the trustworthiness of large language models because it tells us when we should trust the model's answers and when not. However, to fully understand the uncertainty of a language model's prediction, not only should we quantify the total uncertainty, but it is also important to understand the sources of uncertainty. In particular, previous works have shown that uncertainty can be divided into two sources, epistemic uncertainty and aleatory uncertainty. Epistemic uncertainty occurs when the model itself lacks the knowledge to answer the question, which can be due to the model not seeing similar data during training or the limited learning capacity of the AI model. For example, given an arithmetic question, what is 2 plus 3, if the model has never learned math during training, it would not know the answer. On the other hand, aleatory uncertainty occurs when the input query inherently bears multiple answers. One important case is when the input query is ambiguous. For example, given the query, who is the president of this country? The model would be uncertain about the answer even if it is very knowledgeable in political facts, because it is unclear what country the query is referring to. For large language models, decomposing the total uncertainty into epistemic and aleatory uncertainties is very helpful because it not only tells us whether the LM is uncertain, but also why the LM is uncertain. However, there have not been any works that perform uncertainty decomposition for large language models. In this work, we aim to fill this gap. There are, however, many existing methods proposed to perform uncertainty decomposition for generic AI models. Therefore, our first question is whether we can apply these approaches directly to large language models. To answer this, we need to go over some typical existing approaches. Deep ensembles is a simple yet effective uncertainty decomposition approach. Deep ensembles requires that we train multiple models on the same training set, each with different architectures, random initializations, etc. The same input question is fed into all the models, each producing an output distribution. These distributions are aggregated to produce the final output distribution. The total uncertainty is measured as the entropy of the final output distribution. From the information theory basics, the total entropy can be connected with the individual model's output distribution by this identity, where the left-hand side is the total uncertainty, and the right-hand side consists of two terms that can be connected to epistemic and aleatory uncertainties. Here's an intuitive explanation of why this is the case. The first term on the right can be understood as a disagreement among each model. Here is an example of high disagreement among models. The reason why it corresponds to the epistemic uncertainty is that when the model sees unfamiliar query it has not seen during training, its output behavior will be heavily influenced by the random initialization and model architecture, not by the training data, resulting in high disagreement among models. The second term on the right can be understood as the average entropy of each model's output. Here is an example where all the models have very high uncertainties. The reason why it corresponds to aleatory uncertainty is that when the input bears multiple answers, for example, when the input is ambiguous, models would all produce ambiguous output, 
and thus high average uncertainty. To sum up, deep ensembles decompose uncertainties via two steps. First, train an ensemble of models, which can be regarded as the process of minimizing the epistemic uncertainty for each model. Second, calculate the model disagreement as the epistemic uncertainty and the average model entropy as the aleatoric uncertainty. Now that we learned that deep ensemble is an effective approach for decomposition, we can come back to our question. Is it easy to directly apply deep ensembles to LLMs? The answer is no, because it is costly to train multiple LLMs. On the other hand, one comparative advantage of LLM is that it is relatively easy to manipulate the input text. Therefore, can we utilize this advantage and design a similar approach to deep ensembles? Motivated by this, we propose input clarification ensembling, an uncertainty decomposition method for LLMs that share an interesting symmetry with deep ensembles. Input clarification ensembling is also an ensemble method. However, instead of ensembling models, we ensemble different model inputs. Specifically, given an input query, potentially ambiguous, we first feed it into a clarification LLM, which generates multiple clarifications. Each input is then fed into the same LLM to generate an output distribution, which is then aggregated to generate the final output distribution. The final output distribution can be connected with the output distribution for each input, again, via the same identity. And we have a similar correspondence between each term and the different types of uncertainties. However, if we compare the two approaches, we can find that the correspondences of the epistemic and aleatory uncertainties are flipped. The first term, which still depicts the disagreement among the different outputs, now is connected with the aleatory uncertainty. This is because if the input is ambiguous, then different clarified inputs would have very different meanings and result in very different answers. The second term, which still depicts the average uncertainty, now is connected to epistemic uncertainty. This is because each clarified input should be clear and bear no ambiguity. So if each model is still uncertain, it could only result from the lack of model knowledge. Here I'm showing comparison between input clarification ensembling and deep ensembles, which can give us a better idea of why these two approaches are so symmetric. As can be observed, deep ensembles generates different models which can be regarded as the process of minimizing epistemic uncertainty, whereas input clarification ensembling generates different input clarifications, which can be regarded as a process of minimizing aleatory uncertainty. As a result, the correspondence of the epistemic and aleatory uncertainty is flipped. Input clarification ensembling shifts the burden of generating multiple models to generating multiple input clarifications, which is a relatively easy task for LLMs. In particular, we consider two methods to generate the clarifications, prompting an existing LLM or perform supervised fine-tuning. To evaluate the performance of our uncertainty decomposition approach, we need to perform at least two sets of experiments. Since our approach can quantify the total uncertainty and decompose it into epistemic and aleatory uncertainties simultaneously, we need to validate at least two out of the three quantities. To evaluate a total uncertainty measurement, we perform the correctness prediction task. To evaluate the aleatory uncertainty measurement, we perform the ambiguity detection task. The total uncertainty, if well calibrated, should align with the probability that the answer is correct. So we can use the total uncertainty to predict whether the answer is correct or not. We perform the experiment on QN and reasoning tasks, and the results show that our total uncertainty measure is better than or on pair with existing total uncertainty quantification approaches. The aleatory uncertainty can be used to detect whether the input is ambiguous. The results on two datasets, ambiguity and ambiguity instruction, 
both show that our approach has a significant advantage over the existing ambiguity detection baselines. To sum up, input clarification ensembling is an uncertainty decomposition algorithm better suited for LMs. It has a symmetric structure to deep ensembles. However, one limitation of this approach is that it can only deal with the aleatory uncertainty due to input ambiguity, and therefore tends to underestimate the aleatory uncertainty. How to incorporate other sources of the aleatory uncertainty would be a future direction. With that, I will close the talk today. Thank you for your attention.